week, I wanted to share with you a tip that I share often with passive investors. Um, you know, when you see a deal coming from a syndicator, um, most deals look great. The numbers make sense. Everything, you know, looks fantastic. Uh, returns are great. And so I want to give you this little tip of what is the number one thing you should be focusing on. And there are multiple things to focus on when you're looking at a deal. Um, but mainly, you know, the first thing that I look at is the income, uh, in place cap rate versus the exit cap. So cap rate is basically um, the, the ratio between the price, the purchase price, how much someone paid for the property, and the NOI, the net operating income. NOI is basically income minus expenses. Um, and so basically there, there is a number, there's a cap rate um, that uh, each market has. The average across the US right now is 5%. And then one of the assumptions that every syndicator and every investor makes is what would be the exit cap? Meaning when I'm going to sell the property in three to five years, what would be the market cap rate that I'll be able to sell the property for? Um, what we have control over as real estate uh, investors is the NOI because we can push rents, we can implement the value add plan and, um, and cut costs and increase the NOI. Um, we don't really have a lot of um, control over the, the price. Usually it's, it's being dictated um, by the market and when we sell the properties, we wish we're aiming for a certain price but the NOI is something we can definitely control. Um, and then you also have the third component is the cap rate. So cap rate is something that we have no control over. This is something that is dictated by the market. It's supply and demand, market forces, they dictate the, um, the cap rate. So I always look at what was the the in-place cap rate, meaning what was the cap rate that the syndicator or investor bought the property with, and I compare it with the exit cap. So for instance, if I buy a property at a 5% cap, which is kind of normal, um, again, depends on the market. Some markets have higher cap rates than others. Um, then if I see that the exit cap is the same at 5%, usually it's a red flag. So either if it's an off-market deal, then it's a whole different story because you might have uh, purchased a, um, a property at a higher cap rate than you should have. But if you bought it at a, at a market rate and you bought it at 5% cap, and you're assuming that when you're gonna sell the property, it's gonna be 5% as well. Well, that's being very aggressive because what you're actually saying is that you believe that in five years, the economy is gonna be as strong. In most pods, that's not gonna be the case. And so changing the exit cap really affects the numbers and the returns. Um, I usually like to see a higher so when when my team underwrites we usually have a higher um exit cap than than the in place cap rate which means that we assume that the market is not going to be as strong as it is today so if i buy a property at a five cap my assumption that the exit cap is going to be five and a half five and three quarter maybe even six percent cap which means that prices are going down and if the deal still works when the economy is not going to be as strong as it is now, then I know it's a good deal. So whenever you're looking at a deal, pay attention to the exit cap and compare it to the in-place cap rate. And if you don't have that, ask the syndicator for that information. And if something doesn't seem right, if it's the same, um, uh, if, it's, if the in-place cap rate and the exit cap rate are, are the same, um, ask the investor, ask the syndicator for the reason and, and for sure you have to ask uh, for the reason if the um, exit cap is actually lower. Um, so generally speaking, the, the higher the cap rate, uh, the lower the price. So just make sure that you pay attention to the exit cap. I know that 99% of investors miss, you know, that um, critical component of a deal. And it's really important that you're aware of it um, and that you pay attention and ask the, you know, the, the right questions if you see that something doesn't make sense.